uh, hi guys uh, welcome to my channel for another video uh, if you have not seen my previous video so please check the description and click on the link to uh, see the video uh, in this video I uh, will go ahead and create category classes I'll leave this one I'm gonna go ahead this uh, I will go right click on and then click this and then click classes then type it category click on add the class is here make it public and then we'll go ahead uh, okay so I see it giving me hint so we need to I'll have the ID for the category class and then we need to have a public uh, name of the category uh, make this one as a key for the class go here right click on it and then it will show you the suggestion what to add it so you need to add this data annotation classes to resolve this and then I will make it keyword. let's do this make it 30 right we'll keep some kind of error message if it goes above 30 then cannot let's put something like this length can uh, can then can go above sorry all right so we have uh, we have we have created the category classes so now we need to add this category classes under our application db contest classes okay now we're going to add it here so let's do something like this public db set then make it category we're going to have this as categories okay all right uh, make available for us so we'll add the model class reference into database access class so then we we'll have uh, who can import it uh, import category from uh, model class okay. all right we see we added that reference over here on the top you can see it right there we, once we add it uh, we see the error is uh, gone so since we had a category now let's go ahead and create a database uh, connection for sql server uh, to add the sql server connection so we need to go to under jahi take web folder and then use app settings start json uh, file here what oh, we would do we would use um, sql server management studio uh, and uh, we we'll put the address or the connection history where our sql server will get connect okay so uh, what we have to do uh, you have to install SQL Server and then the SQL Server Management Studio, right? I think I'm using 2019 SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, you can go ahead and, you know, you can install it. And then once you install SQL Server and then the SQL Server Management Studio, uh, then you name because we are using the local host and then the authentication should be windows authentication uh, this is the connection stream uh, you can see on the bottom right 
uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this whole thing and paste it here. So where I can see my server name is this right here. Then I put the database name is skin food estates db. Uh, you can have anything. Okay. You can have whatever the database name you want to put. Uh, you can put and then uh, copy this rest of this from here right and you put it uh you replace here then you should have create the connection with the sql server so let me copy whole thing i did it so i'll go ahead and delete this i don't need this now so once again so i put jahi sql uh this is my server name and this is the name of the database it will create under uh, this studio management tool uh, right there. Once we created it, right, it will come under here. Uh, so we have created the database setup. Now we need to also uh, go to, go, we also need to go to program.cs where we need to update it, okay? So here you see the connection string, which is default connection, right? Uh, this is the default connection. And then I do see uh, here also we have identity user right there. So this is our database setup. The uh, migration to add this migration to our SQL server. Okay, to add it, uh, we need to go ahead and open console, the package manager console. You need to go to tools, then you go to new get package and then click on package manager console. So you see the package manager console has loaded here. Uh, make sure we check everything, make sure uh, there is no error. Uh, you see here it said configuration create connection and then we see our application db context class has added to db context uh, this application db context also here with the identity user okay and then let me check the default connection string if it is correct uh, make sure you also check your connection string uh, make sure you put the server name like this and then put your database name whatever you want to put you can put it there and then type from here to all the way there uh, i think we should be okay i'll make sure also we need to go ahead here uh, make sure that we do select database access class since we'll do my plate from here all right so because our sql server and then the all the entity framework uh under this uh, folder so we need to select a database access uh before we do it let's to build the application to see if there is any error or not so if there is error we can it will fail so i see errors three zero zero twelve. let's click on this and then type the comment saying add migration then add db to database all right let's see it is trying to build okay okay uh we also need to find out why we are getting a error here is saying uh type is application db context for the different pattern supported at the design time i think uh, we are getting this error because we need to go back to our application db context class and here we see the db context option we need to pass our classes here let's do it like this and then build for one more time 
okay and now again go to yeah we are seeing this issue because if you see this application db context class right uh what happened when we create uh the biotech web application right uh we create for individual account uh so what happened what it does it also created data folder right there and under this data folder it did migration right so if you see application db context is already built it here uh so whenever we are running right uh it is going here and then failing the issue right because we have set up this under this data access folder not here so what we have to do we have to go ahead and change the program uh, files and then pointing this application db context to not under here it should point to under database access so what I will do, I'll go ahead and click the uh, delete this folder completely. Okay. Once I delete this folder completely, uh, you will see an error here is saying no reference is found. So now what we have to do, we have to delete this and then right click on it and try to see what is the suggestion it shows us, right? Okay. So now it say it's giving us a suggestion is add reference to uh, database access. So click on this. Uh, once we add the uh, uh, application, on db context right uh, what we will do we'll go ahead go to package console okay and then make sure we see uh jahi tech uh we set as a startup project and then make sure default project here shows database access okay um now let's to type this click enter if there is no issue, I think it should able to migrate it. Uh, let's see what happens. So, all right, so we see it had migrate, migrate to, uh, mig uh, we see the result of the migration and the folder already created under the database access. So you do see uh, database access and then under the database access, you do see migration uh, folder that we just created using add migration command under the package manage console. Uh, so let's check what we have. So you see under the, it has application DB context and then the another class is here, the migration details. So uh, you can see this is the default table that comes with identity, uh, identity entity framework. Uh, this is for, this table is for ESPNet roles. Then you see ESPNet user table with IDs and name and all those things. And then you do see categories table uh, that we, add under our uh, uh, model classes category so you see it has id and then the one more column which is name uh, then you can see here id that has primary key type and as close server identity here you will see it will start from the id will start from one and it will increase by one every time you do here so if you want to have ID set integer from 1000, we need to go ahead and add, change one to 1000. So now if you create a category, it will start from one and then uh, every time you create a new one, new one, then it will go 1001, add one, add one, two, three, something like this. You can show it to go out. So uh, uh, it, uh, make sure uh, we need to go ahead and update it to our database. So let's check our SQL Server database to see if that data table came in or not. So you see here, we don't see our uh, database has not created it. Let's do click on connect, click on data to see if it is there or not. So uh, you do still see it is not there because we have not updated it yet. So we have to go ahead and click on update database under package manager console. So let's do, let's do click update, update database. Hit enter. Uh, okay, let's see what happened. Mm -mm -mm. It said build succeeded. And it is creating the command to create the table uh, and the database. So we see uh, we have create command on all those things. You see the create table created ASP.NET. So now what you have to do, you have to go ahead and check SQL Server Management Studio to see if the database is available there or not. So you need to go ahead, reconnect it, and then see if it is there or not. So connect, 
the ranking that I connect again, the do refresh, click here, we do see the food states database. So let's open it and see the table. So we do see we have uh, how many tables here? We have tables, the default tables and the tables that we created here. So since we do not have any data here, right? Uh, let's do see if no data. Uh, what we can do, we can add few data here. Let's do add some data under this table click. Uh, okay, so I'll put something like food, then I'll put fish, I'll put meat, and then juice. Okay, now let's do clear it and do execute the table to load it again. All right, so you see uh, the ID start with 1000. Here you can see 1001 is the fish, 1002 is the meat, 1003 is juice. So our plan is to get this data from database server and then display it on our website. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and do it from controller. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next tutorial. Please do share, like, and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye.